Okay. All right. All right. Hey, what is up, guys? We have just gone live on YouTube. We're live on Instagram as well. Welcome to the Fix It to Build That Sunday night live show. I'm Brad. And I'm Susan. And this is Susan, and we are uh, married. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yes. So I, I'm super excited that we started, I mean, we started at nine. I know. Like 901, 902. We would have been a minute earlier, but we're dealing with kid drama. We had a, yeah. So we got all the technology figured out and then, um, our son decided that he doesn't like us doing lives. Yeah. Um, and he's, he he's upset that I know. joined you. So why did you yeah. have to join dad on the lives? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't like that, um, that, uh, that you guys, that she's on here with me. All right, who else do we have here? So I'm gonna uh, say hello here to some of the folks over on Instagram and uh, we'll switch over to the uh, YouTube portion here. There's your chat. Right. Yep. <clears throat> Love it. Okay, Mark the Maker, what's up? Pablo, how you doing, Zoe? We got Burke Bowl. Uh, thank you, man. Love, got a couple plans, fantastic. All right. Uh, let's see here, what else we have here? Jess, what's up, girl? Jess says you're looking lovely, Susan. Well, thanks. And uh, the de the the demon seventy four, uh, Creeves, what's up? Oh, man, and Susan cracking the IPA. You're you're getting now cracking the IPA. I know. I know. I thought about it. I was at the store buying beer today, and I was like, maybe I should just mix it up. I'm getting maybe, predictable, but maybe not. But I didn't. All right, so, cheers. There you go. And uh, That's yeah, the whole story. I, I called you Creeves. <laughs> what's up, Casey? Um, mm. So uh, if you guys on on Instagram. If you would like a much better experience, a way better um, definition, and the chat features are a lot better, head over to YouTube. We're on YouTube. You can go to my main YouTube channel. We've done a second channel. Mm -hmm. Just go to the main channel, and you'll see a link for the second channel called Fix This, Build That Live. We are live right now over there, simul streaming, and we're probably only going to stay on Instagram for about 15 minutes. Okay. Because it's it's Mixing such it a better up. experience yes. over there. There's no lagging. Uh, the quality is better and the chat, you can scroll through the chat. It's, it's awesome there. It's uh, awesome. So it's, it's all good. But, um, oh yeah. Casey says, nice to, nice to meet you. Uh, let's see here. Matt, what is up? We got rustic river in the house, man. Do, uh, uh, Susan. Yes. Matt is a uh, rustic river. Oh yeah. Yeah. So with a really cool shop with a really cool shop. And Would you gorilla. like to, to thank him for the, the table? Susan yes. has been getting a ton of you. So we built, if I you have. guys haven't seen the video, uh, I did a big dining table and uh, it was white oak top yep. and then uh, a welded base and that is now in our dining room and that's where Susan does most of her work. And I had doubts in the very beginning when you said white oak because she I did. was thinking of more of a yellowy, she was thinking old 80s school like red oak, cabinet yeah. oak, but Golden no, oak it's stain. beautiful. It's really, really pretty. So yeah, that's where I sit and work every day. I usually sit at the, at the dining room table and then now that our kids are home, I'm sitting at one spot and then we have three kids and they kind of all sit there and sit around the attempt table. to do work together, but usually they're just annoying each other a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's been very nice. Thank you. It's, it's fun. Yeah. Um, it's it a nice fun. place for us to be all around. Scott Madrigal. What's up, my man? Hey, Scott. Michael Grover in the house. Uh, average craftsman. What is up? What is up? Yeah. And, uh, and Teresa's over there. Awesome. Teresa. So yeah, mm. this week, um, <laughs> It's funny, uh, I had plans to do, I, I've got some walnuts sitting right behind you guys, the cameras. <laughs> it's looking um, pretty back there. It is looking pretty. Uh, I don't remember how many board feet I got, but we're gonna be doing a um, desk. And mm -hmm. that's gonna be the project I'm working on this week. I wasn't working on it last week, and then. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. We decided to we dive an audible. deep on oh my our gosh, website. So deep. So deep like because. Like 1.30 in the morning every night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going through lots things. of decisions, but. Uh, the, the good thing is, is that we are going to be coming, uh, we're going to have a little bit of refresh on the website and then we're, mm -hmm. the biggest refresh is going to be how we do our plans. Yeah. And so it's going to be a lot easier to buy the plans and, and cruise the plans and look at bundles and the whole nine yards. So we're super excited about it's that. A much better user experience. We yeah. are really excited about it and it's been something you've been wanting to do for a long time. It has and been. And so we decided we had some time, I mean, a little bit of time and it kind of turned. To take the time. Well, <laughs> I mean, we did like, we don't, it wasn't like we had a deadline due like last week. Right. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So we I did have you. a little yeah. bit of time in the schedule. And yeah, we just. But now we're behind the eight ball. You know, but I do have a big. We, that's how we do our best work. It is how we do our best work. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. It's either feast or famine around here. It is. But yeah. um, I've, I've got a bunch of, not a bunch, it's a six quarter walnut. So I'm doing a uh, kind of a modern desk with mm -hmm. with uh, like a, an A frame base and then a walnut 
plywood. It's the first time I've worked with uh, walnut plywood, actually. Yeah. Walnut plywood top with, with a mitered. Uh, it's going to be like a mid-century modern kind of-ish theme. So narrow top or thin top, you know, wide. And uh, I think it's going to look cool. Things yeah, cool. I'm excited about another desk. I know, sorry. I, uh, I'm excited about another desk because I have visions you of like being desks. able to send the children to do work at other desks. Yes, so absolutely. They More desks the 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 with me. Grizz Adam, so, yeah. what is up? Uh, Lucas from Lighthouse Boston. What's up, dude? Hey, Lucas. Marion Cornelius Peters, what is up? Uh, one of my favorite woodworking YouTubers, Palmer oh, Woodworks. Thank you so much, my man. That's so nice. Uh, let's see here. Project Eleanor. How's it going? How's it going? Hey. You need another podcast episode. I have another long drive soon. Three-in-one workshop. Uh. You have to go back and listen to some other ones. Uh, John and I are, are uh, taking a, a break, an unannounced break. We haven't even announced that I we're taking a break. I guess you just announced it. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, we're just really, Yeah. I mean, it's like, uh, yeah, we, we've been doing... Um, our own thing. Like and a, just, you guys have both been pretty busy. Right. I mean, he, he's, stuff. he's just hammering yeah. out projects and then we've been, um, yep. like I said, doing our thing that we've been doing over here. Yeah. Uh, what just happened? Okay. Bathroom remodel video, uh, Burke Bowen. That's awesome. I'm glad you like that. Yingling for the win. That is that's right. right. Uh, we do cool, like man. Yingling. All right. Let's see here. All right. So preach your projects. We need content. I know everybody's, I know. everybody's People like are ready. in quarantine. They're like, Once. we need more content. Like, I know, I know the website. Sorry. I know the website doesn't help give you content, but, uh, there should be a video Saturday. Yes. That is the plan. So like I said, should, I'm, 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 <laughs> we're I'm not going to like, what do we have make over here it, on this side? Make it contingent. Um, rugged rebel 57 said his grandpa just bought the 12 inch, Matabo. Matabo dual bevel compound miter saw. That is a name bucks right from there. Lowe's. Wow. Wow. It was 300. Can't wait to use it. That's a good steal, That's man. Cool. That's a good steal. That's I very awesome. good on clothes. I didn't even know they, they sold Matabo. I guess they do for 200 bucks. Um, Might <laughs> be the camera, but it looks like Brad has started packing I mean. on a COVID 19. Maybe switch to the light beer. It is definitely, definitely, definitely the, camera. the camera. No, he's like, he's, uh, he weighs, I feel like, the same. Oh, I see why. I would, no, it looks like I've got muffin top right yeah, here. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Yeah, no, it's that's, a that's because annoying. it's bunching up. I mean, it's like oh, nice. I had it tucked into my pants. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Uh, no, no, Brad actually, has been lean, yeah. mean woodworking machine. <laughs> I, I, I actually <laughs> the whole weigh. Time I've known him. I weigh. Uh, I weigh. Well, I We're weigh. We're getting one, into it now. I weigh one fifty-two, and I mm -hmm. wrestled in my high school year. My high school senior year, I wrestled one sixty. So. <laughs> But of course, I had a lot more muscle back then. But yeah, I uh, I've kind of been the same weight my entire life. Right. Ever since I start, stopped work, if I uh, was working out, I was a beefcake at one point. I was up to one seventy five. Like right after we got married, right? Yeah, when we were I was dating I was something. a massive beefcake. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to go into how much I weigh because I had three children. No, she weighs a hundred. You didn't have to grow humans inside of you. So. No, I don't grow humans inside yeah, of me. No, it makes it a little I just different. Make things. Um, anyway, so yeah, so he has not put on weight. Trying my tip, trying my college essay about how I got into woodworking. By the way, you are featured because you inspired me. Oh, dude, oh, Lipinski, that's, so that's cool. awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, typing, he said. Yeah. I'm Ty assuming all that's online right now. Tri oh, submitting, typing. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Online. Our, yeah, our kids are, I think we shared that last time. Our kids are definitely out of school now. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. For the year. They called yeah, I guess it, they, they are. They called it for oh, the year. Oh, they did, like last yeah. week. They're and done. so. Yeah, we're, we're just hoping that they're going to be in school we, in August. We have our doubts. You know, we, well, because they... they um, you never know. Well, they're talking it? about colleges possibly colleges not being not back on campus in the fall. January... Oh, I didn't hear that. 2021. No, that's what you were telling me. Well, no, all I heard well, was... Yeah, not being on campus in the fall and right, starting that back everything in the would spring. be online, possibly. Right. But it's so, kind of early to I don't know, decide. man. It's, we don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. But we're just, we're just going with David it. Parr. Seth, what is up? We got... Oh, gosh, what just happened? You scrolled too fast. Sorry, scrolling too fast. I got the, the finger scroll going. Uh, what's up, Rick Schmidt? Uh, oh, yeah, look, Matt's coming over there. Cool. It's awesome to All see right. you guys. If you are coming over from Instagram, if you're on Instagram, please come over to YouTube. We are uh, over there. If you go to my main channel, you can look at the second channel, which is Fix This Build That Live. You'll see that if you go to the main channel, uh, and you can come join us. It's a way better experience over here on the tubes. <laughs> All right, Scott says, okay, table saw question. If you are buying your first and terrified of losing a digit, which <laughs> makes sense, um, especially as a video editor, yeah, that would be an issue. Is it stop, saw stop or nothing or any other brand with the all safety the safety gear. gear you can buy? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so Scott, so the you know, question, uh, is there a, other than the saw stop, which has the safety mechanism, obviously the right. flush detection, um, the Bosch, Bosch had one that was the Bosch Reacts, and I'm pretty sure that 
Uh, and they, they were selling it for a while. And then I'm pretty sure that uh, SawStop sued them or what? at least did a cease Because it's their desist. technology or what? It's not their technology. They So the way that they, because they did it very differently because Bosch? the Bosch reacts, yeah. what happened is that it didn't, uh, so the saw stop, what happens is a, a brake hits the blade and stops the blade. Okay. The reacts did something totally different where it actually fires and the blade comes mm-hmm. down and it doesn't hit a, a brake. Oh, the whole blade goes down in the table. The whole table. thing. And oh, it does it with the other one too, dramatic. but it stops it first. Oh. Uh, but anyway, I guess I've they, never the way seen that, this put to the test. The way that they organized the patent saw stop, they actually, it was flesh detection as a what? whole idea. Wait a or, second. So you're telling me that nobody else can put out a the, flesh I, detecting. Yeah, that's right. That stinks though. Hey, that's business, man. I mean, I what, guess what so. <laughs> but like, actually, I think the patent much, runs out like so, this year, next year. How much is a, a saw stop? Oh gosh, I don't even know these days, but it's probably uh, the three horsepower is probably thirty six hundred ish, and a contractor saw is probably seventeen eighteen hundred, oh um, maybe gosh. a little bit more. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Um, when I bought my first table saw new, wow. it was um, like your first, not the saw stop, just right, like table saw. The other one that I, you the, had a what was it? It was a Delta. Okay. So I bought a Delta contractor saw that was 500 bucks. It was from Lowe's. I thought you got a used one. I got it for $400. Oh, is that your very first one was like a little crappy one, right? No, it was nice. Oh, was it nice? nice. Yeah, it was a a contractor saw. Never mind. uh, All that to say is that the Reax is another option, um, but the... um, but they wow. stopped selling it, so they don't sell it anymore. So that's your only option for flesh detection. Saw stops your only option. Yep. That being said, I mean yeah, they are all required now. They've been for a while. I don't know what year it was. Uh, that they have to have riving knives. So riving knives are 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 the really things that you use to change the ball blades. No, Dang, not at I all. Thought I had the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> that silver part on the back, so uh, it, it keeps the wood from pinching in on the blade and then shooting oh. back at you. Oh. Yeah, um, that's important. Right, so they all have all new table saws have have riving knives. That's a big safety feature. And then, as honestly, as long if you keep the guard on it, it's it's very difficult. Like if you look at the vast majority of table saw accidents, they are when people have the blade off. And I'll be the first to say, like I took my blade guard off when I had my old one. I never used the blade guard, not once. Is that the plastic thing around? That's it? right. And the okay. reason I have mine on right now is because it's dust collection. Uh huh. Yeah, so like if you want to be safe on the table saw, it's very, very easy. Just leave the guard on. Yeah, and use push sticks and stuff. Right, right? I mean, and yeah. other things. But if you have the guard on, you, you're you going to have a hard time, you know, unless okay. you're just like using, yeah, your hand on the back of it. Like, don't that be a so expensive, a though. Yeah. It's an investment, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> because... So you don't want to kill yourself. Well, like, yeah. Not kill yourself, I mean, that was chop that was. Finger. I remember when. But you Anyway, found, that's that's the long answer to that question. When you found Scott. your table saw and you're like, should I, I buy it? You were like, like, yeah. You were like, yes, we're investing. I know, uh, but it was a better deal because it was used. Yeah, Juan, um, what's up? I came over from hey, uh, from IG. That's awesome. YouTube's way better. YouTube's way, way better. better. Yeah. Uh, I suggest a uh, physician and wants to build him a a board, a cutting board, uh, a big a big cutting board. Um, what do you suggest, wood. domestic or exotics? Mm-hmm. My favorite woods for cutting boards have always been walnut, um, walnut. cherry. Yep, let's see if you got them. Uh, walnut, cherry. What's the really fancy one? That you can't oh, uh, really... mahogany. Mahogany. That yeah. one. I don't. I don't okay. That one's more walnut, of an accent, but yes. Cherry. Cedar. No. Not even close. Not even close. Maple. Maple. Yeah. How did I miss maple? I don't know. Like we're sitting on right in the family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Uh, (laughs) So walnut, cherry, maple. Those are kind of the the holy trinity of cutting boards. The holy trinity. They are. And uh, I I like to accent it with like a yellow heart or possibly a purple heart or a. uh, I think it's red heart. Red heart. Um, but and they look really nice like that. I mean, I remember that one. Yeah, having like a little bit of accent. So I wouldn't do it like an entire board out of, you know, uh, out of like exotics. Uh, but use them to accent your other stuff. That, yeah. And that's, you that's why the, I enjoy doing remember it. Remember the board that you did with the yellow stripe? Uh-huh. Yellow I remember the time when you were like, hey, this is what I'm thinking about doing. You had it laid out, but it wasn't like, you know, you hadn't done anything yet. I was just like, yellow. I don't know. That's not going to look great. <laughs> and it looks so good. Because it it's just a little yellow, bit. Yellow and, um, it, it yellow and walnut go together really well. Like the yellow and the bright yellow and then the dark brown of walnut. It's like, an, yeah. it's like a really nice contrast. And it's a very like mid-century modern look. Yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back over here Triple to... Triple J uh, Customs. Jose, says, what's up, my brother? Oh, saying hi to Jose. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So uh, speaking of Jose, and and uh, he is a patron, uh, at the beginning, so starting next week, 
uh, so th- and starting next week, we're not going to be on Instagram. We're not even, we're, we're, I might do like a little 10 minute pre-show over on Instagram. Like a little reminder. But, uh, oh, no. right. Like, come on over. And, uh, and actually we're going to go ahead and, and shut down Instagram here in a minute. Uh, but I'll say this first. So if you're on Instagram, please come join us over on YouTube. We are simul streaming on YouTube and we're going to be doing all of this on YouTube in the future. So please head over, go to my main channel, fix this, build that. And then you can see the second channel. Uh, but Starting next week, also, one of the things we do at the beginning of the show is thank our patrons. So we do have patrons, and then we're going to kick off, we haven't decided exactly how we're going to do this, but kick it off the membership side on YouTube. Uh, and I just sent out the email. I didn't tell you this. Oh, no, you I didn't. I sent up the email to all the, the patrons, and uh, and Jose has been an awesome patron of ours. And anyway, the um, the we're going to thank the folks at the beginning, and there's some discounts. You can get free plans every month. And one of the things I'm starting that I'm excited about is putting the patrons and thanking them in the credits of the YouTube videos. So like in the end, when I'm talking, they're going to be scrolling down below or fixed depending upon uh, the tier there. And we just got, we got some other cool stuff. So if you want to check that out, yeah. um, it is at patreon.com forward slash fix this bill that, and we'll be talking more about that later. But uh, anyway, this will be the last week for Instagram. And then next week we'll start off. And then at the beginning, we'll thank our new patrons um, and we'll be taking patron questions first. Mm-hmm. So Jose just reminded me because he uh, he is a patron. Yeah. And uh, so if Jose had a question, we'd be like, all right, Jose is asking about. He doesn't have questions because he's he's a beast. He could uh, <laughs> educate me on anything. All right. So Instagram, we're going to sign off now. So yeah. uh, head over See you on YouTube. to YouTube and uh, meet us there. And all right. Yeah. If you don't, then, uh, you know, we'll catch you. I know if, you, if you, some of you guys don't have YouTube or whatever, I'm sorry. Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to catch up real fast just to hit the comments because uh, we're a little bit behind here. Uh, but yes, if you are on YouTube, then please go over there. If you don't have YouTube, I'm sorry, and we'll just have to catch you on the next one. Uh, all right, I'm scrolling through here real quick. The uh, next project, Palmer Woodworks, uh, we talked about the desk yes, here that we're yep. gonna be doing. It's gonna be- uh, It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna build something awesome. And mm-hmm. a glimpse inside, what's up, Chris? How you doing, my man? Got shape of Oko. And Jeremy, Jeremy Hill, he is the, whoa. <laughs> Y'all hear that bird? They heard that. Like, this isn't like, the mic's not over there. The mic's right on you. I couldn't they help it. What was I going to do? I'm telling you, it's the beer. Jeremy, sorry about that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy is our most favorite. That's really embarrassing. Because he's awesome. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right, this is uh, scrolling through here. All right, got the Delta Saw. Oh, Palmer Works have the Delta Saw as well. All right. You can't ask questions on YouTube. Oh, you absolutely can yeah, ask can. questions on YouTube. There's we got a chat whole over here. chat. So if you're not for, and, and uh, and the folks over there can help you out and tell you how to do it, I'm sure. Uh, but I yep. haven't done it. I think you might have to look at it. I think you might have to look at it vertically and then type it in at that point. Hmm. Um, but we have tons of people interacting over here. Yep. Same name. Uh, yeah. How do I check out YouTube? So uh, real quick, before we go, I'll talk to you guys directly right here. Uh, head over to the YouTube channel, Fix This, Build That. And then it's a second channel. So go to the second channel, which is Fix This, Build That Live. And you'll just click over there. Um, subscribe to it and uh, hit the, you know, there's a live going right now and you should see that. So we'll see you guys over there. See ya. All right. Cool. All right. Well, we have some questions over here. Um, <clears throat> the box store workshop says, hey, and um, C. Reeves makes says much better look and clarity versus IG over oh, so here. Much better. So yeah, so it's much awesome. better. Um, Rick Schmidt is watching on the computer tonight. Oh, Keeping there you go. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Rec Tech Live, welcome back. Uh, Mark D. Maker, have you ever done an art piece like a wall yeah. hanging or logo? Yes. 100%. I've done both of those. Yeah. Uh, Mark, we, we actually. You did a logo? Were, oh, you did do a well, logo. I've done that one, it's right there. Yeah. yeah. I took that I back. did. Uh, I've done logos. So I did it when I did a logo, it was uh, I, when I had the laser and I etched yeah. glass. I etched my logo into glass. I actually have a YouTube video That's out there cool. on it. It was, it was very cool. I, I spray painted it and then we etched it. So it was like black spray paint yeah. and then used the laser to etch it. And then I frosted the back. I didn't frost it. I just like spray painted it white just right. so it's like to give it that diffusion. Um, and it's the one that you see in all my videos. Right. Um, or and used it's to got see lights, in the intro. which we never ever turn on. No. And I did run LED lights, lights in there which is and cool. it could come on, but it doesn't. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I made, uh, back when I was just getting started, I made a bunch, like, especially in that, the whole pallet wood saga. Mm-hmm. Um, we were just, Actually, Susan I've, is a beast. She was just, she's been painting all day. Beast. She's like, I know my hands are covered in paint. And, I just painted our paint. family room. I decided during the quarantine in my downtime, I'm going to work on painting pretty much the majority of the interior of our house. 
like yes. like all the hallways. Gray, and, going from like a contractor beige yeah, to a, to a to nice a, gray. A nice gray. It's like a warm gray. Anyway, but I did the family room today, and I took down the wall hangings that Brad made that we have hanging in there, and I think they're they're gonna look awesome. Yeah, on it's that like one's wall. like a one's a chevron design, mm -hmm. one's a herringbone design, and the other one's like a diamond. So um, I used to do that uh, with most of like lot. scrap wood. So yeah. I've done. I, I don't know. I've, I've done a dozen, half Probably, dozen to yeah. a dozen, something like that. They're all um, over our house now. They're all, much. yeah. Oh, yeah, because the little ones by the front door, mm -hmm. those little small ones. And then we have that really, really cool one that is more of a um, rectangle, and we have to find a good home for that one. Oh, the one. cedar one, yeah. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that one That's a lot. got, like, the different sizes. Yeah, it stands so, yeah. out differently. There's a, uh, I, I enjoy those, those are that, great maybe. scrap wood projects and yeah. perfect for, you know, it's right fun. now. It's fun. Yeah, that'd be a great quarantine project. Yeah. Just see what wood you have and play around with it. Yep. Uh, the T Hub is also in the FTBT Builder right. Club. So yeah, that thank you T Hub. Awesome. That is uh, Builder Club in the house. Uh, that is the name. So for the because it's gonna be on Patreon, and mm -hmm. we used to be it just to be patrons, but uh, now because we're gonna go to YouTube as well, and so we're gonna have the um, the YouTube membership or whatever, and the Patreon, and then together that's like the Builder Club. And it's just a, another way for me to connect with the community. And mm -hmm. I love this. And this is kind of going to be our, our focal point. So uh, a time for me to, to hang out and answer the questions from folks in the Builder Club. And so, again, going to make yeah, sure that those guys come on that and part. gals get priority um, yeah. so that I can answer all the questions. Pat Quinn says, hey, from Canada. Wondering if the Arduino code for your USB charging station project is available. We get this question a lot. Pat, I... <laughs> I wish I, I'm ready I, I wish I had a great this. answer for you, but you know what? Another answer I, I, I didn't. How do we look up here? Because I didn't even pull focus mean? on the camera. Oh, I, I don't know. I just realized that. I oh, think wait, we I'm look sure. good, but look okay. you know, I'm the focus? one wearing glasses. So I'm probably not the best one to ask. <laughs> uh, yeah. So for you guys who are not familiar, I did a charging station. Actually, I posted about it on Instagram it very recently. Slick. And for the kids, for their tablets, and there's three chargers there, and I put LED lights in it so that. And, and use some Arduino code. It was my first time doing that. That was mm -hmm. fun and crazy at the same time. Uh, but like what it, I used an amperage, a current sensor. So, uh, and then ran the, ran the current sensor in line with the USB charging cable. So basically it knows when there's electricity flowing through the cable, which yeah. is really cool. It is really neat. And then it, like I had to write code and I used another guy, I used a guy's code and I forget what his name is, but I used a guy's code as a jumping off point but he only did it for one right. and then I did it for three. And so like it, it got was complicated. It got complicated real fast. Um, and then I uploaded the code and I, we even have two versions of code. So what I've realized, like I'm not very good at keeping track of that stuff. So I was like not saving. And I was just like, I got like 15 files, yeah. like literally like 15 files. And I don't even know which one I uploaded. And it's a one way street. You can't, at least not easily, so you can't download the code. And so, I've got good, I've got kind of good code on one. I've got, is the one, is Cole's? Are they both? Cole and Tyler's work. Macy's Well, they don't really work. What do you mean they don't work? Well, the one, like when it's unplugged, it's just flashing. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and then Cole's it's when it's perfect. fully charged. So it's like a between great... the two of them, if you could combine the two, they would right. work. So one of them, it well, will. Well, if you were like only doing one device, it right. would be a lot easier. Correct. But, right? But, but the on the one, anyway, on the one, if you were charging it, um, if you're charging it, it would, the, the LED light goes around to show that it's charging. And when really it's cool. fully charged, uh, it the light goes full. off. No. no, it goes full. No, listen. What? This is it goes my off? project. Oh. No, I'm telling you what's messed up about it. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll just drink my beer. It goes off. <laughs> That's the one on the left. The oh. one in the middle. Oh. Yes, now you're getting okay, where I'm going. Yes, the one in the middle, when it's charging, it goes around, and when it's done, it goes fully on, which is exactly which what you is want. what it's supposed to do. And then when you unplug it, it, it flashes, flashes <laughs> like a crazy thing. Like we'll be over like on the couch watching a movie, and there's like a strobe light on the other side. Of so, the uh, so the first one, you know, is supposed to to go green at the end when it's done charging, and it doesn't. And then the second one does go so green. So there's some bugs to work out. But it out. flashes, and so anyway. But yeah. I don't have the code. So sorry, I, I could I could upload like 15 code files and what be like, hey, we can would figure probably, this out, let me know. But so essentially, you are not the Arduino expert to be consulting. Oh no, no, on no. This no he, he, well, he, I think he's like, yeah, let me take a look at it. You know, like I'm just smarter saying. guy than okay. me. I'm sure. Um, all right. 
Okay, Rugged Rebel 57 wants to know, do you know of or have any good videos on gluing up basic tops for tables or desks or any plans to make one? Uh, Rugged Rebel, I would highly recommend you to go check out Mark uh, the Wood Whisperer. He did a video very recently on 10 tips for gluing up tabletops. Perfect. I would literally just say the same things. So go, and he even said, he even used more of them. Uh, but he just put that video That's out awesome. maybe a month or two ago. Great video. Go check that one out. Awesome. All right. That was easy. After the last question, that was like such a good, I know. easy one. Yeah. Yeah. Where we get to knock these out? We're I know. Way, Nate way Glover, if you could buy only two hand planes, or I'm sorry, three hand planes, which three would you start with and why? This is like right up your well, alley. You really love easy. hand planes, don't you? What are you talking about? Hand tools, hand planes. It's like How you're always you? like, busted out the hand plane. Like you're How so many hand planes do you think I have? Like one, but you seem like you get really excited about it. <laughs> Whenever there's glue you to be... <laughs> How many you got? Whenever, like one... Whenever there's glue to be scraped on a project yes. and there's enough so glue that will... you have to use the hand plane, you know you get excited. Well, I do, but that's a very different than saying I love hand planes. Um, I don't know. I will... Whatever. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just going with it. If I, I always... <laughs> Listen, I am not the hand tool woodworker. No, I mean, uh, I didn't, yeah. But uh, this is, is not this? a hand plane, but this is the first thing I would start with, which is a card scraper. Ah, this is like a real deal, no, okay, gotcha. It's a real deal piece of steel. Like a card scraper <laughs> is the it's most a real basic. real deal piece of steel. It's literally I know, when just I think of a card a... scraper, I think of like using like an old hotel key, like, like a card. You're digging yourself a hole, babe. I'm just oh, saying. What? I don't know, card scraper. <laughs> <laughs> like like when you're like when you use your credit card to get the ice yes. off the window and you're like don't oh, have yeah a i've done that for sure all right so uh yes. but does it work on woodworking no 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 you okay. cannot use a piece of plastic to uh, for card scraping all card right, scraping I always, start with, always start with a card scraper uh and then a a, a block plane block so plane. this is like oh. the cheapest like this is from my granddad this, like you would not you you can't find a cheap you can't even find this this is like a stamped piece of steel like horrible, horrible, horrible thing, but it's great for glue joints. Uh, but I always think it's funny because this is the one of the hand planes I own. I have three hand planes and I got that one. But and it's then, got memories. And then two block planes. Um, and then the one block plane that I have, uh, and I, I want to get more, I need to get more. Uh, I is So block plane, low angle block plane. Uh, this is That's a Veritas one. That's the one that you one. use a lot, right? Yep. yep. Veritas one, which is great. Uh, my next purchase is going to be a number five jack plane. What is that? Like, what's so, the difference? Uh, number five jack plane is much bigger, and it's for, um, you know, for knocking down. Uh, you can joint with it, and you can, oh. like, just so it's like a flatten material. It's, yeah, it's much bigger, and okay. so you can do a lot more work with it. It's gotcha. kind of the... the, the I, You're going to get fancy. Jack of all trade. I don't know if that's actually why they call it the jack plane. Because oh. jack of all trades, I, I kind of read Maybe. that, or if that was just like a... Maybe but they it's should. a number five, number five, Jack of all trades. All right, whatever. cool. Uh, but that's what I would do. I would go, I would go card scraper, block plane, and then probably a number five, and then probably after that, uh, a number three. I do actually have a number three. I just, it's not tuned up. It's also my grandfather's, it's not and up. I haven't um, fixed it up. All right, Michael Anthony six twenty four says, "Just got a Craig jig. Do I have to Sweetening. use those screws, or can you use regular wood screws?" That's a great question. It is a great question. I would have that question because, too. Uh, but the biggest difference, and it's not, you don't have to use necessarily the Craig screws, although that's what I use in all mine because they're easy and they're nice and they've got, you know, great variety between coarse and fine and all the different types uh, of sizes and pan head. Uh, so you can also have, the, the thing is it's a pan head. So the difference is a pan head versus a countersink head. And the problem with a countersink, so a countersink, the head on countersink uh, is like this and that's got a flat top. And a pan head is the opposite. It's got a flat uh, neck, if you will, and then a rounded top. And uh, the reason you want that flat kind of shoulder or neck on the on there so that it doesn't just keep going through, so it stops. And that's the beauty of the pan head, and, and that's why you use it for a pocket for a pocket hole. Because if you use a countersink, then it will it what it can do is just because it's a wedge, it just wedges into that and it can split it and overdrive, mm. and you don't want that. So you don't want um, that. yes, I would highly recommend to use pan head screws. They don't have to be the Craig ones, but um, I would use a pan head screw. It's a good reason. And, and lots of different people sell different ones. I don't know if Craig's got the best price around, but if you buy the large pack of like a thousand, then they're pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. So Except buy in bulk. Yep. All right. Um, Rick wants to know, Brad, I know you do some welding from time to time. Have you ever welded sheet metal? Any tips? Uh, 
I have. So it Did depends on what you mean the... by sheet metal. Like sheet metal, in my it. mind, sheet metal. I don't know at what gauge it turns from sheet into plate, mm. uh, because like that's I've had, I've bought plate, but um, sheet metal is typically very thin, and I'm wanting to say. I don't know, it probably changes over somewhere around 18 gauge, maybe something like that. Um, but no, I've never welded something super thin. The thinnest plate I've welded is probably... That seems like it would get tricky. It, oh yeah, yeah, for certain. Because the biggest thing on welding is heat and avoiding heat buildup because if you get too much heat, it'll warp. Right. And so when you've got something super thin... You don't have I'm much have room no for idea. error yeah. then, yeah. So uh, uh, no, the, the thinnest I've done is probably a um, quarter. Okay. Or three sixteenths. Hammer saw, I'm sorry, hammer sliding table saw or a saw stop PCS? Which would you pick? Ooh. I know. Lots of good questions. I've never, um, Chai Fanon? Chai Fonso? I, I've never, uh, I've never used a sliding table saw. So the, hmm. the hammer, I mean, hammer makes some really awesome stuff. Sliding table saw. Yeah. It's a whole, it's like a European, it, it's made in Europe. Um, and that's a big thing over in Europe, like sliding table saws. And it's like the but whole, like, like the whole left side slides? would slide. The yeah. whole left side of uh, like up to the blade, that whole thing Why? would be a sliding piece. Because then you're moving the table instead of moving the workpiece. Oh. So it's basically like having a built-in table saw sled. But you would need more clearance then. Well, no, not really. Because you still need the clearance for the work yeah, no, it's, anyway. Yeah, no, they got a bunch of okay. cool stuff. But um, I'm sure. I, I've never used one, so I can't really comment. I They seem really cool, mm -hmm. but um, I also... Well, I th actually, back to that conversation, we were talking earlier in the show about um, SawStop and their patent. I believe that, well, I guess they couldn't sell <laughs> into the U.S., but there could be flush detection stuff in oh. in Europe if they just sell in Europe, because I think that's how the patent system works. Like, so you know, you can't sell into yeah. the U.S., but you could do it there. Um, but I don't think Hammer has that. Uh, so that, that would be the big, the two big trade-offs. But um, the saw stuff is a great saw with take the flesh detection out and it's still one of the top saws out there um, if not the top at least in the domestic arena uh, like I said I've never used the hammer but I've, I've heard great things I know their combo joiner planer machine the a41 and a31 I think are, are beasts I know a few guys who have those and they love them all right Jeremy Mil Jeremy Hill He's says, over. What's up, Jim? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. And uh, the average craftsman says tube is way better experience. It is. We it agree. is. We agree. And the then Jet 13-inch player has replaced Maddox the Maddox Woodworks. Tips. Yeah. Maddox. Um, He's working on it right now as we speak. They they don't uh -oh. yet, but um, I have I am close with those guys. They're they're sponsor mine, and uh, that was the first thing I asked them when they when they came out with. So if you're not familiar, yes. the Jet 13-inch planer is the one I've been using. Uh, for about a last, in August, it'll be a year. I think I got it last August. Um, and it, it is segmented head. It's not a helical head and it's not carbide inserts. It's segmented high speed steel blades. And my first question to them was, are you going to have carbide inserts for this at some point? And they said, yes. The reason they didn't do that, um, I think was, was probably price point. But they, they have said that they wanted to, and then they've said that, yeah, it's, it's hopefully going to be an option. So, again, not, you know, not committing to them or anything, but I've, I've definitely been asking them about it, and it's definitely a possibility. Um, but I don't believe they're out now, so, and, and I, don't have any, you know, I don't have any inside scoop on when it might be, but it's, it's definitely something they're talking about. And it seems to me like they're, they, they are going to be going that way, but I, I don't have any info, unfortunately. Okay. Um, Taylor Hubble, going back to the saw stop, said that he bought a 3 HP saw stop. Is that horsepower? Yeah. Yep. And it was about 3,600, give or take. A comparable 3 horsepower table saw is going to be 2,500 to $3,000 range, worth every penny. Yeah, no, that's yeah. great. And I think that's what I said, 3,500 ish, yep. because that's what I recalled on those. But uh, I mean, that, that's the. So you're, you're paying a you know, 25% premium for flesh detection. Uh, the, you know, and if you go on saw stuff, of course, they're going to be throwing it in your face, like whatever the number is, but the average price for reconstructive hand surgery or whatever oh, is like, you know, in the tens of thousands. Yeah. I mean, it's worth it for sure. Right. So there's just peace of mind. And that was actually yeah. one of the things that we, with Susan. I, I know. Like, it's just so careful. I mean, I just, I wasn't that worried that something was going to happen, but just knowing 
that that's built into the technology was huge. Well, and also as as I started coming in here and you were gone and I was working by mm, myself yeah, in true. the shop. I mean, that's yeah. that's a whole different thing too. Yes. Like if, if you're alone in a shop, yeah, man, if you have a if you have a shop oh accident, gosh, yeah. Uh, so and actually, one thing I need to do is um is I think a little bit morbid here, but get one of those um what do they call them? It, they're like a it's like a congealing. It's basically like if you have like a mortal injury you like what? throw it on there and it like oh. it's like a gel pack that you put on a, a huge wound and it like helps stop wow. it so you don't like that bleed is out morbid, but but smart. i mean you know you need to i mean it, you, you know? might as, that's not a bad like idea it, right like yeah. if, if you i would highly recommend um it's a good for, idea well and i was like you know do as i say not as i do i i need to get those i forget what they're called they're like clotting packs or something like that but mm. basically you know if you have a bad injury in your shop and you grab one of these things that is going to give you a little bit extra time to get to the hospital. And I'm mm. talking like you know losing yeah, don't, digits. Yeah, don't and plan on losing like, a digit anytime soon. Right. It's not a great time to be. No, going no, to no. The I know. Yeah. Yeah. You but hear anyway. me screaming anyway. I know. Um, Beth Schmidt says hey, and What's up, Beth? Um, Benjamin Gardner said he got a lathe and has been watching the six days of wood turning. Um, so that's awesome. Awesome. And then Jay Jaleva twelve. Yeah. Hey there. Jesus, yeah. Well, the show, stay safe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So, have you ever worked? Have you ever worked with heat-treated ash? A hardwood dealer near me has it on special and touts that it makes that it makes its it decay resistant for outdoor yeah. project projects. Yeah. Hey, office. what's up, Matthew Van Valericom in the house? Um, yeah. The uh, what do they call it? It's um, it's heat-treated, heat -treated but ash. there's like another there's another I think there's another word for it, but uh, I forget what it's called. But yes, because I've seen that for poplar too, and it makes it like, it, it makes it like uh, in poplar, it turns it like brown. Is it's, it like it's a weird? It's not like shishigi bon then. Kind of, yeah. kind of, because what it does is they it like, and it's not. Uh, so there's a big difference between kiln dried mm. and what we're talking about here, and I forget. It, may, it is heat treated, I guess, is probably the correct terminology. So that would be a but good route to go then. It basically. Um, destroys and uh, not destroys i guess it does destroy or does whatever like it, it takes all the moisture out and it mm. it restructures the cells in a sense that it like takes all that's that good it. yummy stuff that the bugs like out of it and okay. that's like the soft wood yeah and i don't know if it shrinks it i don't know i don't you know i don't want to i have no idea you don't know happens. the chemistry but all, I, the all i know is that that's that's what it does is that it takes out that soft wood and it either converts it or drives out the water or whatever it does um that's why it, it makes it rot resistant and um yeah i've heard actually really good things about that uh from the few people who have heard use it it's, it's still very new i've i've only That's i think cool. matt cremona used some and he was like yeah, this stuff's awesome yeah. awesome are the blue rockler bar clamps any good this is michael grover better or worse than parallel clamps um michael they're 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 good for what they are. I mean, they're like an aluminum bar clamp, so it's not going to be as strong as a uh, like an I beam style parallel clamp. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the biggest thing is the um, just the the rigidity of them is not going to quite be there. Um, I like the parallel clamps because they have larger jaws. Uh, I do have some of the Rockler ones that I use on occasion uh, because they are longer, and so uh, it's cheaper to get longer ones and they're lighter. That's the big trade off. So like aluminum, right? So it's these ones right here. But the, yeah, yeah. the aluminum bar clamps obviously are going to be way right. lighter. So for like a, uh, that's where I use them is something over 48 inches. So these are I like more that. lightweight then. Well, they're aluminum. So yeah. versus like the steel uh, right. I-beam style. Makes sense. So different projects then. Yeah. Different but purposes. But for smaller stuff, I use parallel clamps and I use those when I need to glue up something that's like, you know, over, over 40 inches, let's say, because I've got several 40 inch clamps. Um, and then over that, I start... I start tapping out. So if I'm gluing up, doing like a 48 inch glue up or more, I'm going to be going for those. Okay, cool. Um, Pat Quinn is, I was wondering this when we, she said she's going to look at the Arduino. She's the Arduino mm -hmm. question. And I thought this was Pat, female sculptor from Canada, and it is. So she's running. Boom. And she said, up, film and television mostly. That is really cool. I'm kind of like curious it. about sculptor that. For film and yeah. Television. Blaine is in the house. Blaine, Blaine bon what is going what's on up, with the Cedar Posts? We need an the update. Cedar Post, yeah. Like, what's going on? Um, Matthew, free workshop. Oh, wait. oh gosh. Where's, sometimes it jumps. Yeah, sometimes it jumps. Yeah. Sorry. Mimi in the house. What's up, Mimi? Hey, Mimi. Mimi is my That's mom. That's his mom, yeah. You guys are really um, nice. Uh, woodworkers we after dark. <laughs> oh, Kenny, gosh. the almost engineer. I like that. Oh, that's awesome. 
Uh, number four and number seven, Rick has and love them as well as the card scrapers. Yeah, which I had, I know. Don't we all, Jeremy? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, like auto sheet metal, eighteen to twenty-two gauge. Yeah, yeah. Never, never. I like how that. you're just like whipping through. This. I know. I just, I just like. No, to it's go. good. Check out like Texas that. Heritage. He makes beautiful handcrafted leather. Uh, yeah, Teresa. Oh yeah, uh, that Texas sounds Heritage. nice. He does. Sounds he does fancy. Very cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, watch your channel today with your first on. video, Rec Tech right. Live. That's awesome, man. Before and after. All right, tour. everybody check out Rec Tech Live. Rec Tech Live, absolutely. Go look at his channel, brand new, off the presses. Felder has a flesh detection saw coming out. Uh, oh. Or it is out. Oh, very cool. Very I'm cool. sorry, so what's the deal? They're able so to Felder, put it out? Well, like I said, they're European. Uh, so Felder, Can you get it here, Felder though? is the maker of Hammer, Felder Hammer. Um, huh. Or maybe, I don't know if it's Felder Hammer, if that's, I, I don't know. Uh, because I know that that can't be right. Yeah, so well, I, it like, should be Felder Hammer because the models are like the A41, and the A, uh, like whatever. But so like after hearing the price comparisons, the saw stop is more expensive than another table saw, but not like crazy more expensive. 25, 30 percent. Okay, well, that's a lot. All right, so but you're it's talking... worth it if you're saving your fingers, right? Potentially. I mean, you, you would think so. <laughs> you would think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Scott uh, is a table saw shop necessity. Yes, it is. 100%. Yeah. And not 100%. a tabletop, right? Is that a thing? I, I think it is. Um, yeah. Not a bench top. Not a bench top. There we go. Um, that being said. I feel like I'm missing out on not having one. You yes. Are. You yeah. are. You can do so much with a table saw. <laughs> like, yes, Scott, you are. <laughs> I mean. Here, here's the deal with the table saw. Is that you can you can build a lot of different jigs to do a lot of different things. He says it. he has the Craig rip cut and accu cut just for frame of reference. Okay. Okay. Right. And you can do a lot of stuff with that. Don't get me wrong right. here. Uh, so we're talking next level, right? I, it's always interesting. And I think this crowd is typically a little more advanced than, um, you know, some of the, my broader audience maybe, but, uh, the, the actual like table saw conversation versus a circular saw or even a track saw you can do like actually the, the Craig, uh, and I've got it, the Craig ACS, their advanced adaptive cutting system, oh, which yeah, is, yeah. is basically like a, um, uh, Festool MFT. It's like dog holes. Is that the holes. big thing? Yeah. The, yeah. Yep. On the end of mobile. our garage. Um, you can cut. They the way they've made that is it, it is a replacement for a table saw. But like what you it's kind of a pain though. I mean it's not a pain, but like the table saw is always ready to go. Well, that's in my setup. That's that true. That it's not it's right. Very... It's because I don't have the space for it. Yeah. That's true. Right. If it, if you didn't have a table saw, like it would be sitting right there. That is true. I get that. Because the table saw is pretty big too. Right, but yeah. my point is, is that um, so for just cutting, you can do all the cuts with that guy, but uh, what you can't do as easily, at least, I'm sure you could do it if you rigged it up, is like joinery. Mm. So doing, um, you know, lap joints, doing mortise and tenon cuts, um, doing all those different styles, cutting splines in a box, things like that that you can do on the table saw, you will never be able to do easily with uh, even a, a super nice setup like the Craig Ace, yes. But if you're just wanting to build, uh, if you're building a ton of cabinetry and plywood type stuff, I would highly recommend the Craig ACS because it, it's a very nice system uh, for repeatable cuts that will be head and shoulders beyond, um, you know, even just using a regular track saw. So that's, I guess that'd be my question is like, at what point does somebody need to get a table saw then? Tomorrow. Okay. Well, that makes that easy. <laughs> no, it was uh, a table saw. Like, you know, I get that question a lot about like, what should I buy first? Uh, in yes. my opinion, after the drills and uh, circular saw mm -hmm. and miter saw, like miter those, saw. those are yeah. the starters for me. Drills, circular saw, and miter saw. Uh, and then next is table saw. And that's before band saw, planer, joiner. Yeah. Any of that, uh, the, the next is, is table saw. And it's before not a bench planer. top. It's a... Uh, if you need to get a used, go to Craigslist, mm -hmm. go to Facebook Marketplace, and get a used one half horsepower uh, cast. You want a cast iron top because those cast iron tops are 27 inches deep. That adds a lot of safety because bench top saws are typically 24 inches deep, uh, and so you get less in feed and out feed. And then if you go big daddy, my big five daddy. horsepower is 30 inches, and it like I even forget. Yeah, you do have a lot of space there. Yeah, it's just, it's so much safer to have yeah. more run in before the blade and off after the blade. Mm -hmm. Build yourself an outfeed table. I've got plans if you need some. Free plans. Um, yeah. And yeah, and, and uh, that would be my recommendation is, is get one right, you know, the, the first major tool that you buy should be a table saw in my opinion, like floor standing style yeah. machine. All right, we definitely covered that.
There you go. Um, Jeremy <laughs> Hill and yes. Rick Schmidt both quick say clock. coagulant, yeah. quick clots. Je- yeah, yeah. And Jer- your, Jeremy, uh, Jer- well, he didn't have a, a saw accident, but he oh. he dropped. Did you have a coagulant pack? He didn't. Well, I guess he probably did. But or did uh, you need one? I can't was remember. It that major? What was it, Jeremy? Oh, yeah. Oh. I can't remember what it was. Jeremy? If it was, it, I remember it was a Powermatic. I can't remember if it was a joiner or a table saw. I think it was your joiner. Oh, that makes it me so nervous. It rolled in his, his finger. His thumb got caught, and it just, like, destroyed his thumb. Like, like did you tell me about this? Was this a while oh, yeah. ago? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember and, that. And uh, a ton of reconstructive surgery and stuff. Yes, so, yeah. I do remember so that. So even in the shop, yeah. you, you know, the spinning and the spinning sharp stuff is <laughs> is not the only stuff that can get you. No. Uh, no. But we're glad okay. that Jeremy has made a All right. almost Matthew full recovery. Matthew wants to know how we oh, met. Gosh, we, we told him to tell us last week, remember? How'd y'all meet? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Matthew Blair come. Yeah. So we uh, met. Go ahead, you tell the story. Thermally um, modified, average to crash on. Thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, thermally modified is the term oh, that I've heard for, for the, the uh, heat treated. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. Um, we met kind of through my sister. Well, we met at a party, but my sister was dating one of Brad's friends at the time, and then I she had me come over. It was a Memorial Day party. Memorial Day at your house. Weekend party at my house. Yep. And, we had um, we fun. had a huge. Uh, Smoker out back. Right. And cornhole. And we we, we cornhole. smoked like 40 pounds of, uh, of pork butt. And it was awesome. Sounds ridiculous. Anthony did it. Yeah. It was really fun. I mean, like, so I show up and like, I've kind of met these people once before. You remember, I met, I first came to a party like once before that. And I met like 20 people at one time. So I don't remember meeting him then. And that was where I think last week I said, I met, she doesn't remember. She, she I rolled mean, in. I met like 15 guys at one time. Like, well, like, there were a lot of people there, but there so were my, a lot of friends. my buddy, friends. who fast forward is now my brother-in-law. Yeah, they got um, married. They got married. We got married. Uh, his wife, which... My sister. Her sister. Uh, my sister-in-law uh, rolled in. And so I'd known her for a few months. And then she rolled in the party with these like two... <laughs> enormously tall yeah. chicks was and we were like was, yeah was, you and Elizabeth oh, okay. rolled in like yeah. so you're at this party and so Susan we is six in, feet tall she's yeah. like a proud six foot and I am Elizabeth I am is, like I am like, like a measuring stick dead on six feet tall and Elizabeth's like a half inch shorter yeah than she's me. right she's up tall. there she's yeah. super tall we're tall uh, and so they just come rolling in this party and everybody's like wait all the dudes are like <laughs> Who are these chicks? Yeah, because Jill, like like my sister Jill, who was dating his friend, who he had already known, she's the runt of my family, and she's she's like five nine nine and a half, so she's by far the shortest person in the family. The runt. Anyway, that's that's what the first time that we actually. That's the first time he met me. I don't remember meeting him. And then we met like like months later at a party. Anyway, we met months later at a party. And that his he was hosting, I guess, kind of is like you know in our twenties, so you don't really host a party. You just have people. Of course, over. I hosted. What do you mean? I mean, I you know. weren't like I threw a party. You threw a party. You throw a yeah. party. And um, no, we just kind of hit it off and started hanging out, and that's it. Yeah. We decided we liked each other. So that was it. Yeah. Now it was, we have three kids. I know, I know three kids in almost is it fifteen years this summer? No, is that right? What are we in? Mental yeah, math. One hundred percent. Yeah. Twenty twenty. Yeah. We have easy math. 15, we, yeah. we tried 15 to do it easy. years of marriage this summer. We got married in, uh, in uh, 2005. Five, yeah. We're like easy math. <laughs> <laughs> it all 2005, flew by. so 2020 yeah. is 15 So anyway, years. that's our story. It's pretty easy. Um, all right, let's see what else. I, when I sliced my finger, oh, okay. We went from that, like yes. happy story to Rick telling <laughs> us that when he sliced his fingers, they put, the flat, they put gauze tissue. and that stuff in to stop the bleeding. I'm glad that they were able to stop the bleeding, Rick. There you go. That's horrible. Uh, Garrett Fink, yes. Uh, the So I didn't do any C-channel on the, the table, the dining table that I did. I didn't do any mm-hmm. C-channel because I used quarter-inch plate on the top and it ran almost the full length um, and the boards were... You know, they're they're kiln dried and everything. It wasn't like a slab. And I had a moisture meter, and I built it here, which in here is very similar um, in basically environmental, you know, humidity and everything to what it is. Yeah, because we have an HVAC in here across the everything. wall in our dining room. And so, uh, you know, where I think that people really need that is like when you have huge swings. If you're especially <laughs> if you're, you know, building it in Arizona and shipping it right to the West Coast. What's a C channel? Um, C channel is like it's like a uh, so it's shaped like a C or a U. What is? But it's like metal. Oh. It's a strip of metal. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. 
That's probably that, really loud. Um, you know, like the the tube, the the one by three tube. Yeah. So well, imagine, I was thinking it kind of looks like a C. Well, no, right? that's what I'm saying. But imagine that that rectangular tube steel, and they're just cutting the edge off, so it's like a C. Oh, okay. And then it's got it's got slots in it, and so you can route out holes and then embed it. Um, I mean, it, it's definitely a great option, but I use that quarter inch plate on the top, and mm -hmm. that holds it. So if I yeah. had have just done um, point attachment and not run something across the top, I would have done that, but um, I didn't. Okay. I've got a bunch of steels just there sitting go. right there. Uh, all right, let's see. Matt Cremona just did a whole outdoor bench build with the heat treated ash. Oh, there you go. There you go. That awesome. was from Taylor. I, I didn't know because I didn't know, yeah. you've been looking at that Taylor That's for a cool. while. Heat treated ash. We should check that out. All of our outdoor stuff is cedar, which is really nice, though. Yeah. It's pretty. Well, Matt loves some hot ash. I'm not even touching that. This is a family show. It is. As hot. I drink my beer. <laughs> it's a family show. Hot Plug. ash. Should be thermally modified ash. Uh, what else do we have? What? <laughs> Josh. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, purchasing the first planer. What's a good suggestion on planer that's priced for a starter? Heard good things on both the Walt and, and Wynn. Uh, keeping cool with the job. Hey, thanks, Josh. Um, I've heard... <laughs> I've heard good things. So the, the two DeWalt machines are the 734 is the, the cheaper one. And I believe that one's a two blade. 735 has kind of been the de facto high end bench top planer for a long, long time. Um, the, the big knock I hear on that one is that it just eats through blades. The blades are horrible and it eats through them super fast. And I don't know if that's just the DeWalt steel. And if you replace them with something from like Holbrun or something like that, um, Holbrun's a great place for replacement planer blades. Um, but that one's way more expensive. The uh, the win is like the other end of the spectrum. The win is as cheap as you can get. Like yeah, I, I literally I think thinking, it's the cheapest. Like, it's that black is... and orange. Oh, I know. I remember. I don't know. How do I know about a win? I do though. Uh, you pro we probably have the conversation of like they they've come on the scene in the last two to three years, and they just are super cheap just direct to basic, consumer. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. It's it's direct to consumer, uh, and they oh, get their stuff so made good. out of a lot of shops that make the name brand stuff. Um, I just don't know about the internal components and stuff like that. So you can look mm -hmm. at some of the wind machines. They look exactly like some of the other brand name machines. And that's because they are literally built in the same shops. So it's like, it's like the store brand, like, right. like at, a, yeah. at a grocery store, like you get like Campbell's soup, but like the Kroger brand might exactly. be the same thing, and, but you don't know. But typically, yeah, what you don't know is that they made it with like cat guts and, <laughs> cat guts. <laughs> but they might have like, you know, plastic parts versus metal or right. like whatever it is. Or, or well, I'm sure I mean, if it's cheaper, steel. they must have like, you know, well, they get a lot, a lot of their efficiency is going is it's a direct to consumer. Oh. So they don't have, they don't learn about like in Home Depot or something. Right. They're not, right. they're on Home Depot online, Oh, but they're not, so they don't have to pay Everything marketing fees. They, they're not yeah. paying anybody anything basically. Huh. Um, so it's they can smart. slash it, all that overhead for marketing, which is, which is nice. A lot, yeah. Um, but I've, I have no idea. I've never used that. I wouldn't personally recommend it because I've never used them and I've heard mixed reviews about them. So what would you do instead? So would you have him build or not build, but buy like a used something on uh, Craigslist, I mean, like for a first planer that's not going to like totally thing, break the bank, what would be the best option? My thing is that I've always said most of those mid-tier planers, they're all about the same. I've never heard like horrible comments about any of them, like that any of them are just lemons. Uh, so like the DeWalt 734, I don't know the names of like the, the one that, that I used to have, the rigid machine I yeah, used I to have. I really love that one. Yeah, you That's had that the, for a long time. I still got it. The oh. TP13002. Uh, and love that one. I did not like their their current one. I'm not a huge fan, um, mainly because they don't even give you a four inch dust port on it, which which it's a two and a half inch dust port. Anything that does not include a dust port. Well, it's got a two inch, but then I have to like go down and, oh. and it's just, uh, I just didn't like that Type build. I like the old style. Gotcha. Um, but if you could pick up a used rigid one, two thumbs up on that one. Um, Q Tech makes a good one. And then if you want the higher end, I think the Jet is now the highest priced one. So that's not going to probably be an entry level one. Uh, but it is super, super nice. And then you can always upgrade with a, uh, you know, a bird Shelix head down the road, which is a carbide tip in um, cutter head. If you want to get like a less expensive one and then upgrade it. Okay. Um, Blaine give, gave us an update, so he has not been able to get a new sander yet. Hopefully this week. Feeling more confident it coming, about man. it. 
because he, he knew that his old, remember his sander was like a Black & Decker or something, or I don't know, it's something that you're yes. like, get a new oh, sander, yeah. hasn't had a new sander yet. So uh, keep us posted. Yeah. We're all in it now. Uh, they want to ask your mom questions. They want to ask mom don't ask my mom questions. No. She'll tell you everything. She will. Totally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Travis Porter, what's up? Hey, Major. Travis. Oh, Travis just sent out some uh, team flip top stickers. If you have built a flip top cart and uh, you know, bought the plans and built the cart from from my website, um, if you would like a sticker, I've got these stickers. I don't have that many left, but uh, I did a push where we did the team flip top stickers. Mm -hmm. And so I've got this little sticker and it's got the flip top on it. It says hashtag team flip top. So whenever I see anybody build one, I always... You know, welcome. I always on Instagram. I'll say, "Welcome to Team Flip-Top. Uh, hashtag Team Flip-Top. And anyway, I've got a few stickers left. So if you have made one and you want a sticker, uh, and like, I'll just give it to you. You just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. If you want one and you haven't got one already, just DM me, and I will give you my PO box address, and you can shoot one over, and I will yeah. zap it back to you. That's good. All right, and Beth says that Rick and her have been married for 23 years Ooh, in nice. September. Impressive. That's fantastic. That's and a lot of port butt. It yeah. is a lot of port butt, Matthew. <laughs> it was a fun party, from what I recall. It, it was. It was. Yeah. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. It was a very long time ago. Yes. Yes. We've and aged then, nicely. 2007-ish. Uh, I know. Well, no. No, no, 2007, no. 2005. 2005. 2003. No, we no, got no. married in 2005, babe. Oh, my bad. It was 2003. We did it for I like two years. Yeah. yeah, you did. My yeah. bad. <laughs> I was thinking we got married in 2010. I was like, oh, no. yes, 2005. We're, we're not that young. <sighs> no. On that note. And, uh, <laughs> okay, Blaine wants to know, I know I've asked you before, should I use a deck seal on the post after they're sanded or just a regular stain? Uh, definitely a deck seal. Yeah. I mean, th those are outdoor front porch posts from what I could tell or back Cedar. porch or whatever. Yeah. Um, use a, I would recommend a transparent or semi-transparent uh, deck stain. Stain. And that's gonna that's gonna hold you up the best as far as weather and rain and sun and all that good stuff, which are weather. Yeah, which you're gonna get <laughs> weather and rain and sun. All yes. the elements. Awesome. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do, do we have anything else? Was there anything else we we're supposed to talk about? Share. No. Come else? up on our hour here. I, Let's I feel see. Like what did we, we already talked we stayed about what we're on, doing. Like, we, we were like super focused today. I there was guess, like no nonsense yeah. talk. Like we, I know we didn't get off track. We didn't go on I'm not even going to have a good show I'm title. I'm disappointed in us. I am. I, the show do. title, I'll have to make it like... Well, by the way, we're completely ripping off Mark from the Wood oh. Whisperer. Like, we I, fully I've acknowledged already, yeah, this. I've already I told Mark. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm totally ripping you off. <laughs> um, and so like just the format and everything, but how he, he's, he names his shows. Right. Which uh, is fun. A funny Whatever. thing. And I was like, that's perfect. I love it. Right. Because like, why would you not copy everything that Mark does? Because he's amazing. <laughs> Uh, what but is it like? Um, I won't call it copy. I'll be saying no. What is it? It's um, flattery. Uh, is imitation the is the best form, best of flattery. form of flattery. Yes, exactly. Uh, so anyway, be yeah, we flattery. haven't had enough silly comments, know, but it's really just gonna have to be much. Matt loves hot ash. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know hot well, ash is gonna be on there. Yeah. Um. All right. What is your Patreon page, oh, site? Look, this is where you've got. So you, you've got a. You've got a man. The. This is I what did. You, did you type oh, it in here? Oh, no, I didn't type anything. I did. No, I didn't. I was scrolling. Patreon. That's what I thought you were talking about. com forward slash fix this build that. Boom. Just like that. There it is. See how efficient I was? I know. You're awesome. Yeah, I know. It's good. Uh, 25 years and seven kids. Three and one oh workshop. Oh, my gosh. Seven. Wow. Congratulations That's impressive. on that for still being alive. We have three um, and like. They feel like seven sometimes. They're, <laughs> they're great, but like, just, I don't know, man. It's like, once you figure out one. No, we're in the sweet spot. We actually, we, we are, are. We're in the sweet there. So for all you new parents out there, uh, it, or soon to be parents, the sweet spot, what we've found. The right, golden the, years. The golden years are between. It's pretty much elementary school. It is. Okay. Yeah. It's like it's kindergarten it, through five, sixth grade. Yeah, fifth five, grade, fifth grade. Five to 11. Right. Or 12. Five to eleven, right before the tween, or right before the teen. Yeah. Even though, so the tweens. Our, our oldest, oldest is eleven. And he's, so you I'll say be, twelve. You can't say twelve. I know. Yet, I don't know why I said that. I was thinking 12. he was twelve already. No. He's not. He's um, eleven. But you know, after, a little once, teeny they're, bit once they're angsty. five. Yeah. Then they're like, potty you don't have trained. To work, right. They're not napping. Can you can go do themselves. things. They don't have sippy cups. You can leave like, them at home with a bottle of booze. There's less gear in a way, you know, like. She totally missed that one. What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. Anyway. No, but like our kids are great. We were actually just talking, we've talked recently about how 
you know, pandemic and we're all home. Like oh, our kids are actually at a really great age. Yeah, I to feel be for home. all you parents out there who have like teenagers young, I know Scott. or babies. <laughs> yeah. Like anyone who's not in the golden age, I'm sorry. Yeah, like it's yeah. just, it would be hard. Like, so y- your sister has teenagers and I don't know how it's going in particular for her, but I think about that because I know there's a lot of, you know, like teens are like all into their friends and like, that's like a huge thing in their life. And I think it's really been hard on them that they can't, go hang out together right now. So our kids are really not in that. We're just kind of, we're just kind of hanging out together. So it's fun. I'm just, I'm just man. I know. Sorry. I was talking. The, I, I was talking to the good. people. So yes, we do have a website. Just put it in there. Fix this build that com. Fix this build that com is our main site. Yeah. And uh, we do have shirts and apparel. We have shirts and uh, hats. Somebody was asking. You can have a hat just like this. You could have this act, not this actual Not that hat. hat. You don't want that one. No, this one seasons well. As long as you don't like get super sweaty, super fast, like that kind of messes the hat up. Oh, But if you just kind of pro tip right there. Season, you know, get to, like <laughs> season. I season the hat. Like it gets like a nice darker gray. Yeah. No, you know, that those, one looks nice. Those dark gray hats. I do miss those. I mean, I still have them. We sold out those. Did we sell Super fast. Those? Yeah, very fast. But yeah. I like the heather gray. I yeah, like I do it. too. Yeah. Uh, what's the one tool that I always go top of the line on? Squares, clamps, measuring tapes. Matthew. Hmm. Um, Where did you see this? Right here. Uh, that's a good question. I oh mean, for gosh. sure, measuring tapes. Like, I wouldn't go. You know, I wouldn't say top of the line, but find a measure. This is a. a I've had these. I've had these two. I had like a two pack. I got at one point. Oh yeah. And these are my favorite. They don't make these anymore. These are uh, Dewalt. Is that the Fat Max or no? No, they looked very much like the Fat Max, but this yeah. is the Dewalt. Um, and and these are awesome. So from a tape, I, I do think like having a tape measure that you like is important, uh, but they're not necessarily expensive. You know, those are probably like 15 bucks. Um, and then, yeah, I, I do think that everybody needs at least one really nice square mm-hmm. just so you can use it for machine setup. Well, they're not that much and, money either, right? Uh, I mean, they're... How much? Well, not like, we're well, talking about like woodpeckers here. Yeah, like, well, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you are? Oh, never mind. I thought but you were talking about something, There's like here. woodpeckers, there's, there's, uh. I thought you were talking about that one. No, because these are, no. I mean, like, these aren't, like, these are never meant to be. Squares? This is just like a, I mean, this isn't stamped. Maybe it is stamped. No, it can't be stamped. It looks um, nice. No? I mean, it's, you know. No, this is not nice. This is like we've got a plastic one Depot, over there. Like, this one looks a lot nicer than well, that. Well, that's a that's a that's a uh, drafting square. Ah, uh, well, that makes sense. So anyway, I would I, yeah. that's, I would definitely recommend to get a nice, um, yeah. probably like a six inch. I do remember engineering square, um, or you can get one of these little jobbies from um, actually DFM Torques. Go check them out. Uh, yeah. So even just like what a little guy like this. Oh, I could see using that actually. I use this a for lot. Little things, actually, yeah. yeah. So this is great like for little joints machine and setup, yeah. uh, for getting your bandsaw blade aligned, for making sure your drill press table is aligned. So mm-hmm. basically everything: your table saw blade, so all the time. your joiner fence, Thanks. right here, yeah, your wife's <laughs> face, <laughs> blocking your wife out. No, I uh, will DFM say. DFM Tours. This is a, uh, and I, I'm sorry, I forget his name, but. Um, I know. Uh, he Did he go to Texas? These, because it is like yeah, he's Texas got a bunch of different colors. Orange. It is like a burnt orange. Yeah. Um, and it'd be a great way to support a uh, a small small business. Small business. Awesome. Yeah. So DFM Tool Works. Uh, just Google that and you'll you'll find him. This is the story for some reason I've been wanting to share. Do you remember when we were dating or maybe newly no. married? Anyway, Nothing. newly married, and I had a toolbox that my grandpa I put together for me when I first moved into my first apartment. My grandpa. Who was like a? He was. He had a shop in his basement. Mm-hmm. He was very handy. He worked um, for uh, the phone the company telephone for like company forty years forever or something, Forever right? in Milwaukee, and but he like could build anything, could fix anything. He just no, he's a beast. He's the nicest man. But when when I moved out, my sisters and I, he did this for all of us. He gave us each a little, well, actually like a real toolbox with like basic tools in it that you would need on your own. And I just, it was so nice. I always had a hammer and, and I had a screwdriver all, and stuff. Actually, and they were all uh, P-Touch. Oh, everything labeled. was labeled. Check this out. My grandpa labeled everything. We're in 1080p, so you probably see What did this. it say? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, property of Susan Scora. That's I still the have the name. flat bar. That's hysterical. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he gave property me this. Property of Susan Scora. So this That's was right. in there. Well, and like uh, he would, he would, he would, this. he called it stupid proofing. He would stupid proof things like on our lawnmower oh, okay. when I was growing up. He would have the the notes in there for oh, like at the beginning started. of the season how often you had to push the primer before you started it. Yeah. And everything. Anyway, whatever. My point being, I had a really nice tape measure in there. I had the Fat Max. Yes. And I remember you used to always like use it because it was nicer than your taste tape. Me tape measurers at the time. Yes. Anyway, whatever. We've got some other little questions in here. So Beth Schmick <laughs> had, was high school sweethearts. And Travis Porter, I'm feeling for you, sir. Two-year-old twins during the stay-at-home order. Can you imagine? Two-year-old Two twins. twins with, very, like, very no... Busy. Very busy. No daycare, no nothing. Average craftsman just got himself uh, some woodpeckers. Woodpeckers makes great stuff. Don't let yeah. me... Uh, no, they do. Know, They're don't nice. Don't think anything different than that. I was just... Um, DFM is a great alternative. I think he's probably cheaper. Um, Starrett makes some awesome stuff. Well, hoping well. they last. They'll last forever, right? Like, yeah. I mean, not forever, 500 bucks like, for three yeah. squares and a T square. That was a hard buy. That is a hard buy. Yeah. Well, they better um, last, right? Yeah. Those I mean. should. Those, I mean, those would be <laughs> things that you hand down. Right. That's uh, like, I think those they, are so nice. I don't know this to be a fact or not, but I almost want to say that I think they will. Um, I, I don't know if they will or not, but remachine them or something. Like, they, if it goes out of square, that they'll fix it. But. That might be totally false. Um, Did you see that the religious crafts, or the, the average religious craftsman experience. said it was a religious experience? <laughs> I tell you what, they, they, they have great, you know, they do oh, the, the MDF packaging board. was ridiculous. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. They're like, it was like custom was cool. fit and everything. Yeah, they're it was very, really nice. Very, very, very good it was stuff. fancy and stuff. good guys over there as well. Yeah. And they're awesome. like, I mean, how big of a company is that? They're pretty small. They're a smaller company. Yeah. They're a smaller company. I mean, they're but like they're, I mean, really you reputable. Know, and you know, They're doing millions in sales. I'm just saying. I mean, a lot of companies that are doing millions in sales are probably not doing millions in sales right now. So support the people if you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's yes. crazy. All right. Days. Well, cool. Well, right. We're, we're over here, so we're going to get we ripping. Are. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. And uh, we're really enjoying this over on YouTube. Like I said, next week we will be all YouTube, so you don't have to worry about all this stuff in the beginning with Instagram and all that, that right. good nonsense. Um, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Uh, and hit the notifications so that you can get them because uh, I know that is a nice thing about IG is the notification. So um, that'll be cool. We can still do that here. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Stay safe Absolutely. out there in quarantine. And uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to take be, care of each other. Susan's going to be painting and I'm going to be building a desk. I know. It's going to be right. exciting. We'll catch you guys next week. All right. See ya. See ya. All right. See, this is always the fun part. You didn't say get out there and build something awesome. Get out there and build something awesome. They're already gone. Oh, no, they're, they're not. not. Bye. Not yet, it says. <laughs>